<laughs> she's like just off camera. She's like, hi. Oh, hello. He's Kitty. Very. I'm playing. I'm playing with the headphones. Come get the headphones. Come get them. No, no, no! Don't do that. That's gonna. You're gonna die that way. <laughs> please, Tara. Please don't strangle a cat live on my show. That that would that that would make everyone. I think everyone would be a little bit sadder by that. Yeah, I would be very sad. My nephew would be very upset with me. Hey, Tara, why did you kill my cat on the internet? <laughs> you have interesting nails this this week. I just saw them. They're like mint green. That's neat. Thanks. If you were here, they'd be invisible. Yes, I like, suppose that they would. Like the gigantic new green screen here. I do. Fifty That's... bucks, whole thing, stands, whole nine yards. Wow. eBay. I have a green screen in my storage that I suppose I could hang back here. I don't know if it's big enough, and I don't know if that I have anywhere to store it when it's not in use. Yeah, I'm waving around, Bridget. I'm a little sad that she's not in the range of the camera because she's just going to town on these headphones. <laughs> she's decided to fuck off now. Oh no, she came back. Oh. I thought she was going to go lay down, but she came back. Uh, <laughs> uh. You want to you sleep on your hippo? That's her favorite hippo. It's hers now. What the fuck is wrong with you has now become conversations with cats. Sorry. We're just kind of taking... She's going to have my job in two weeks. Yeah. It's going to be... Yeah, Tara's gone. This is Bridget. This she's just cat. Ow. Like... Ow. Ow. You are so right, Bridget. You're so right. You're so right, Bridget. You're so insightful. <laughs> How did we ever do this bit without you? She's just like... I can see her just like... At your headphones, like they're going to I do. I, I can't move my head if you do that, sweetie. I don't think she cares. No, she doesn't care. She's like, I don't fucking care. I'm having fun here. So, um, this week is a random assortment, mm -hmm. but an interesting assortment, I'd like to think. A potpourri, if you will. I, I can't move my head if you do yeah, that, Yeah, except it's it's not the, the kind that smells sweet makes things better it's the kind that, that just hurts everyone well, i think if it smells better than that last thing you played we're still in the clear yeah take the poo to the that's an issue that's and it was like little weeble wobble people i know uh, that was terrible all right so are, weeble wobble people are we ready to engage in the nonsense let's do it engaged make it so and other such star trek references you don't actually watch Star Trek. I've seen many episodes of The New Generation, Next Generation. <laughs> God, you almost caused nerd rage right there. I know what the Picard maneuver is. Okay. All right. And I've seen both of the J.J. Abrams movies. But I, I think I've actually seen a couple of the Next Generation movies, too. Yeah, I saw First Contact. I saw most of the one with Shatner and Patrick Stewart. Oh. Yeah. Weird. No? Okay. no, she's still wants to play with the. Okay. Each week, Catherine goes out the World Wide Interweb, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? Um, the first one, hey, we got an animal story. Bridget might like hey. this one. Um, comes to us from California. You know, remember when they used to, to have the, the legend about people would have their baby alligators and they would flush them down the toilet and suddenly you have they made a horror movie about it yeah you'd have alligators in the sewers and well um this isn't exactly <laughs> like that my keyboard. but this one also isn't an urban legend and this was also due to sheer stupidity where's your damn it <laughs> i know she i i like picked up the keyboard and she like slapped it down she no no keyboard for you. So, <laughs> from California, Nile crocodile terrorizes California mall. Customers flock to TJ Maxx every day on the hunt for a good bargain. I love how they, they like they put in the little commercial to start there, but 
But they got the surprise of a lifetime on Wednesday when they discovered that a fellow TJ Maxx patron was also on the hunt for them. This, dun, guy, dun, dun. this guy's trying a little Do I have that sound hard. effect? No, but I have a drum roll. According to reports, someone left a four-foot crocodile. Okay, four feet. That's how big your nephew is, isn't it? About. Yeah, four Four foot crocodile at the TJ Maxx in Roseville, California, in its container with a note that identified the animal as a Nile crocodile and advised whoever found him to, quote, call rescue. The cunning crocodile managed to escape from its cage and was found making the rounds outside the retail store. Cunning crocodile. So what someone did was they decided they couldn't keep the crocodile anymore. And the obvious place to take it was TJ Maxx. Would TJ Maxx sell it at a discount price? <laughs> Gray market crocodiles, jeez. I mean, they sell crocodile handbags and shoes at a discount price. But... So why not a crocodile at a discount price? I hear it's this season's hottest accessory. But even worse than that, to put it in the cage, the if it's a cage a crocodile can figure out how to get out of, it's not a good cage. They have no thumbs. Excuse me. It was a cunning crocodile. <laughs> did you hear that? I did. What was that? It just tried to scale the bed and failed. Aw. Failure. Fell on her butt. So it, it it just I it the plan was because I, I, the reason they left it was because it's illegal to own one. There are no safe haven laws for dangerous reptiles. No, like most states have safe haven laws where like you can if you have a baby that you don't want or can't care for you can bring it to a right. hospital and leave it and they will find that baby a home and you don't go to jail. You cannot drop your dangerous pet off somewhere. And, you know, normally with the safe haven laws is you drop it off at a police station or a hospital or and a the fire station. place, not at the... The TJ TV. Maxx! No. Because, obviously, that's the place you go to leave your illegal, dangerous wildlife when you don't want it anymore. Obviously. I mean... You could bring it to Marshall's, I guess. Probably <laughs> more of an illegal, dangerous rodent type drop off i mean everybody knows that you imagine you're just, your illegal marmot to marshall's marmot marshall you imagine you're just driving around the car with a crocodile in the cage next to you going i gotta take this guy somewhere well it's either the chuck e cheese or the tj maxx and i really need some shoes one stop shopping I, I just, of all the things, you just, you, and that's one of those things, you walk up to TJ Maxx, you're like, is that a, that's not. Is, is that, that a crocodile? Bullshit. That thing's not real. Hey, honey, get out the iPhone and take a whole fuck. I feel like there should be a children's book of the TJ Maxx crocodile on the IKEA <laughs> monkey. <laughs> and getting bargains. The crocodile could get really frustrated because he doesn't know how to assemble a desk and the monkey could show him. <laughs> and in exchange, the crocodile could help the monkey get a deal on a jaunty scarf to go with his little shearling coat. Uh, I, think, I think we've got a bestseller on our hands here. This, uh, uh, I don't know what that cat is doing. So, um, we've all been angry with an airline that we've flown for whatever reason, righteously or not. We've all had issues. I've had, I've flown a lot and I've had issues. So, and this being the digital age, people are now taking their issues to the Facebooks and the Tweetsers and all that. Did you say the Tweetsers? The Tweetsters. Yeah. The Tweetsters. That was, that's a thing, mm -hmm. right? That's, that's where you download tweets. You share, it's a peer-to-peer -peer tweet sharing service, right? Yes, exactly. Well, and normally if you get on Twitter and you start complaining about customer service, I've done this before. I've, I've mentioned Comcast on Twitter and how fucked up they were. And the people at Comcast will tweet back at you. 
Yeah, that always weirds me out. Like, I know. I, I joked about, I made a joke about getting an email from 1-800-Flowers and that it was just a coupon and it was a disappointment. And the 1-800-Flowers team like wrote me back on Twitter and were like, oh, we're very sorry. How can we help? And I'm like, I was just joking. You didn't do anything wrong. It's, 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 not, it's not your fault nobody sent me flowers. I, it's kind of creepy, you know? Yeah. I felt really bad about it. I was like, no, I was actually just being a dick on the internet. Well, you guys are cool. That was a, and that was a wonderful response. Um, this, this, not so much. Um, U.S. Airways tweets, pornographic plane in vagina pic at angry customer. How in the world did this happen and who is about to get fired? These are two of the many questions we can ask about U.S. Airways Monday afternoon after the airline's Twitter responded to a customer's complaint with an image that just might traumatize you for life. Uh, started innocently enough when someone named L tweeted at U.S. Airways about an hour delay on her flight from uh, CLT to PDX. I don't, I don't know what those airports are, but yeah. The U.S. Airways responded as they do to nearly all similar tweets with a sincere, sincere apology, but... L replied with this report tort, yeah, you seem so very sorry, so sorry, in fact, you couldn't be bothered to address my other tweets. Then this happened, and it is censored, but still. I'm a little disappointed that it's censored. Then this happened. It's a 777. <laughs> we welcome your feedback, L. If your travel's complete, you can detail it here for your review. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> the Bermuda vagina. <laughs> oh, the Tasmanian and that, Triangle. And that actually, uh, little known fact, that was the original ending of Lost. <laughs> but, I mean, obviously that wasn't suitable for network, so they had to rewrite. Oh. And the plane was in a giant vagina all along. <laughs> You wonder why it's the best show on television. Um, U.S. Airways quickly deleted the tweet once they realized what they had done, but not before the entire internet had a chance to take some screenshots. How does this... Well, I know how this happens. You have an unpaid intern who's sitting on the internet because that's their job. Really? You think it was... I think it had to be somebody who was like, I don't give a fuck about this job. Yeah. I don't give a shit. Like, I'm not even getting paid. Fuck this I shit. don't care. Bye. Yeah, it's, it's, it, that, that's, this is a lesson on how, treat your interns properly. Because they're not getting paid. They're there for college credit, supposedly. And if you treat them like shit, they don't. This is going to happen to you. Yeah. Some of because them... let's be honest, it's the internet. There's a picture of everything in a vagina. There's no a matter picture... what kind of product you sell. Is there, is there... There's a picture of it in somebody's vagina on the internet. Is there a picture of vagina in a vagina? Vaginas, if you sell vaginas in a can, there's a picture of it in somebody's vagina. That's like, you know... There's Inception vagina on the internet. Yeah, that's an Inception vagina. <laughs> so, like, if somebody complains about their fleshlight and your intern's pissed off, fleshlight in a vagina. Yeah. Uh, although, if you sell fleshlights, that's probably not a PR problem for you. Okay, Retro K283... Looks like I picked the wrong week to stop drinking. <laughs> yeah. like I Never picked... start drinking on a Monday. Stop drinking on a Monday. Looks like I picked the wrong week to stop sticking planes in vaginas. I mean, when really is the right week to stop that? Just... The... I this, mean... This is yet another example of... Pearl Harbor Day. <laughs> this is another example of, of why companies and social media don't mix yeah. yeah they keep trying to make it work for them and it just occasionally works against them to their detriment a lot like the spaghettios on 9 11 thing and yeah <laughs> okay they're in the channel going scaring the little girl they're never gonna let langoliers thing go ever um Daver, this is your captain speaking. We're going to be experiencing some uh, <laughs> turbulence here. And then explode. 
I don't. Just it. Her landing strip is eight miles wide. Nice, nice. I just. I think we pushed this one about as far as it can go. Yeah. Oh God. No. Don't say that. Bad phrasing. Phrasing. So, um, while well, we still have that wonderful pic on the screen here, um, did you get a corsage for your prom? I did. It was a rare albino orchid. That that is a thing that if a guy gives a shit and. Amazingly, some some do. We agonize over the choosing of the corsage and the placing of the corsage. Because it's like a rite of passage kind of thing. It's the prom. You know, your date, the corsage. It's something you only ever do once in your entire life. So, Twice. Twice? You have a junior prom and a senior prom. We only had the one. I just had the one. Me too. You have your cousins and you have your first cousin. <laughs> So it, it, it's 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 kind of an important milestone in someone's life. So you think very yeah. carefully about how you're doing it. Well, KFC has decided they want to help in the weirdest fucking way possible. Yeah. In a way, however, that the hound would approve of. Yes. Oh, dude, all the chicken. fucking chickens. KFC offers chicken corsage for prom dates. Because, obviously. And I had to double check to make sure this wasn't an April Fool's, but no, this was 16 hours ago. Or like ago. the onion. Yeah. Um, KFC is cashing in on prom season with its newest line of chicken corsages. The meat accessory comes with a drumstick and baby's breath flowers. The company teams up with Nans and Kraft, a floor space in Louisville, Kentucky, to help craft the product and offer additional flower suggestions to accompany the golden chicken corsage. I wonder what kind of flowers go with a chicken drumstick. Um. Buttercups? Oh. Lettuce isn't a flower, is it? No. Cabbage roses? Ah. Coleslaw. Yeah. Customers can order the chicken corsage online, chicken not included. It costs $20 to order, plus shipping and handling. The purchase will urge the will earn the customer a $5 gift check to customize the corsage with original recipe, extra crispy, or Kentucky grilled chicken. Because, you know, you want to be health conscious about your chicken Well, corsage. you want to be considerate of your date. Your date might want extra crispy. I mean, some girls like it extra crispy. Some I, girls, you know, I don't, I don't judge anybody's proclivities. Some girls like the plain old original recipe. Some girls like that shit extra, extra crispy. And some girls like it with no skin. D.A. Scott Jr. In Europe, they tend to keep the skin. Here in America, we tend to get rid of the skin. So, you know. D.A. Scott Jr. KFC Chicken Corsage for that prom date who wants the cock. You didn't follow my metaphor there, I don't think. I did. About the skin? I, I got, yes. I got the skin. Okay, good. I... I just... It would get grief on your dress. Well, not just that. All right. Okay, ladies, and not just Tara, but everyone. Ladies, seriously. If your date for your prom, your senior prom, the big event of your small social circle, for like, it's it's the big one, comes up to you and tries to pin a stick of chicken to your arm, that's, that's not going to go down well. No. You know, I can understand maybe appreciating it in a cheesy, funny way, sure. But I, I know men, and I know some will sincerely think this is a this good is idea. Great. Well, wasn't it Pizza Hut last year that was offering a marriage proposal package? Yes, Pizza Fucking Hut! I'm sorry, if you present me with a Pizza Hut proposal, you're getting your ass dumped immediately. Oh, Because you are oh. not marriage material. Oh, KFC, Pizza Hut. I'm not saying you gotta throw a 10 carat diamond at me, but you gotta not bring me Pizza Hut. KFC like, and Pizza Hut are both owned by Yum Foods. Mm. Are we really that far away from seeing the Taco Bell wedding package? <gasps> they have breakfast tacos now. You could throw a lovely wedding breakfast. 
have Taco Bell. A nice, a nice classy brunch with waffle tacos and Mountain Dew and champagne flutes. Yeah. Oh, God. And sculpt a cake out of those Cinnabon things they sell, which, by the way, are delicious. A little churro bride and groom. <laughs> it would be delightful. Like, I mean, everybody would die. It would be like <laughs> it would be like a Game of Thrones wedding because <laughs> everybody would die. Yes, it, it's like stoner uh, Valhalla. So, I and I love that this happens in Indiana because I'm a big Parks and Rec fan. Um. You would be, I, I am not, I don't understand exactly how this happened. I think we're going to find out together. But this is kind of amazing. We keep having these these stories with animals who keep doing these amazing amounts of vast destruction. <laughs> Impossible vast destruction. What was it about the... Bridget, the... Bridget is doing that to my room right now as we speak. Remember the story about the gophers who like... We're tearing down, I forget, it was been a while back, we're tearing down buildings and shit. Yes. This. And Hemingway Bear. The Hemingway Bear, yeah. Well, this is amazing. This is how much damage one squirrel can do. This is like a suicide bomber shit well, from I mean, a squirrel. Well, is it foamy? Possibly. Is it foamy, the squirrel? Because he's an angry little fucker. Squirrel causes $300,000 of damage at McMillan Park, Fort Wayne, Indiana. An errant squirrel caused about $300,000 worth of damage. Park, Parks Department officials told Parks Board members Thursday that on April 1st, and this, this is published on April 11th, so it's not an April Fool's Day. On April 1st, a squirrel got to the electrical complex at the freshly renovated complex in McMillan Park causing a massive power surge that fried the three new HVAC systems and damaged some part of the boiler system. The squirrel, we should be doing this story. The squirrel did not survive. Well, no, th this was a squirrel. This was an environmentalist squirrel who died for a cause. This was a martyr squirrel? Get the fuck out of my... This, this is not your park. This is my home. I live here, motherfuckers. Did you just put on the Inception noise? It's it's drama mask, so I wanted to know what sound it was, and for some reason it's the Inception noise. It's the Inception noise. Good to know. This is my home! I live here! This is like some fallen now. Not well, no. He died for his people. And you on April 1st. Okay. You know the I'm fact... The f someone went in the, to the office on April first and walked up to the boss and said, "Hey, hey, boss, you know you know those HVAC systems we just got? Yeah, they exploded because a squirrel got in there. Ah, you had me. Yeah, you got me. Yeah, you got me. No, 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 dude, really, really. There's like a Boom. deep fried squirrel and no HVAC. We're out a third of a million dollars. Yeah, it's it's all gone. It's you guys." Uh, the department said the company built the HVAC system was oh, rushing Squirrel replaced. Bin Laden, says Mike. Uh, the entire project estimated cost about $4.5 million. Um, just, wow, because that squirrel just... I feel like it's more like Mission Impossible Squirrel. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. That wasn't a very good squirrel noise. My dolphin's better. My dolphin's better. Just that that's it's kind of amazing how all of these systems we have are so intricately connected and delicately balanced that all it takes is one fucking squirrel. One angry fucking squirrel. And three hundred thousand dollars just stops existing. <laughs> you could just be taken apart by I mean, forget Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Rise of the Planet of the fucking Rats. Yeah, rats, rats are scary. Squirrels are very closely related to rats. Rats are scary because they keep, their their teeth constantly grow and they gnaw through, they, they've grown and back their entire life. Rats. 
they'll, they're, yes, rats are smart motherfuckers. Yeah. That's scary. Like, at least cockroaches are fucking stupid. They're indestructible, but they're stupid. Rats aren't stupid. No. And they can hold a grudge. Speaking of grudges, um, you, you in uh, New York, or you're near you, New York, you've had to deal with that whole, the soda, you can't have the big soda thing. So people would just go in, okay, I'll buy two smaller sodas. Kind of, yeah, I've heard about it. Fuck you guys. Doesn't um, really affect uh, Xavier's school here in Westchester, but... Yeah. You know. Oh, Emperor Bloomberg. We mutants, we can have whatever kind of fucking soda we want, try and stop. Well, this one actually comes from Chicago, my adopted home state here. And uh, apparently we there's a tax on soda, apparently 22 cents. And that could make people kind of upset, I can understand, because that's a, 22 cents on a soda. That's kind of high. That's, you know, when you're already paying $2 for a two liter and you got to pay another quarter on top of that, that, that shit adds up. That would make me kind of pissed. But not quite this pissed. <clears throat> Angry over 22 cent tax on soda, man pulls out submachine gun in store. That's a little drastic. Nation Shelton, I think that's Nation. Nishan. Nishan Shelton. Didn't want to pay the 22 cent tax on his $1.79 two liter of Pepsi on Saturday. Pepsi! So he allegedly pulled out a blue steel Intratec 22 caliber submachine out of his Gucci satchel and it's outside the key, inside the convenience store in the 4,000 block of West Madison Street where they tried to make him pay and threatened to kill everyone there. This, quote, is my neighborhood. I'm tax exempt, he would later allegedly tell the cops. Man, you know what? Keep, I'll keep it real. I had to put them in their place. Shelton... 36, hence, as we put it, old enough to know better, is arrested charged with aggravated assault. Um, Attorney General, what? Thing. Yeah. This dude could afford what sounds like a pretty fancy gun and as a Gucci bag to put it in. Yeah. He probably got 22 spare sets, dude. Like, this is called choosing your battles. Seriously. You have a machine gun in a Gucci bag. You've probably got a couple of dimes and two pennies. You know, you, you, you write to your Congress critter. You know, you, 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 have a, you have a boycott. You start a letter writing campaign. You don't pull out a fucking gun! No. Attorney General said Shelton yelled, was yelling at the victims and they answered the report of the man with the gun there. I'm going to shoot you in the head three times, Shelton allegedly told one person. So we have the zombie protocol down. I'm going to smoke your ass, he allegedly told another. Shelton's gun had eight live rounds in one magazine, five live rounds in another, and one in the chamber. You know it's going to cost more than 22 cents? Legal fees. Legal fees, yeah. Bail. Bail's probably going to be more than 22 cents. Do, do you know that making a petition probably costs considerably it costs a little more than 22 cents but less less than legal fees and bail less than legal fees and bail yeah there's uh and and god help him had he actually gotten to tax day that wouldn't have ended yeah. well no bloodbath at the h and r block mm. i got my deduction right here i'm sorry but. Oh my god, an ad just started playing and someone said, you have lung cancer. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like I was God? Like, oh. <laughs> I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. Uh, we, we, we need to get our brains out of sync because we both went to the... Is that you, God? I heard a random disembodied voice tell me I had lung cancer. Who else would that be? And Kent, stop playing with yourself. All right, speaking of God, hey, perfect segue for our last one. I'm going to cause a whole lot of hell with this one, I already know. Um, folks, I do not have a religion. I am an atheist. 
but that's not, and there's nothing wrong with the fact that you have one, or you have one, or you, I have no problem with that. That's the thing. That's how you get by in the world. People have their beliefs, they get by, they do this stuff, and it's cool. It's perfectly cool. This, however, not only is this not cool, this is getting the whole premise wrong. Like, completely the fuck wrong. Like, but like, and this is, of course, Florida wrong. The Florida. wrongest, the wrongest kind of wrong there is. From Orlando. That sounds like the worst Dr. Who, Dr. Seuss. The wrongest kind of the wrong. The wrongest kind of wrong. Florida. What rounds with Florida? Wrong. We should, we should do a Dr. Seuss about Florida. Atheist calls for godless attorney after butter knife attack on Rumi mistaken for Jesus. What? Gustav Potoff demanded a godless attorney after all the Pine Hill area man denies the existence of God and, as he told a judge Thursday after allegedly attacking his roommate with a butter knife because he thought the man was Jesus, he deserves a like-minded legal reception. Pause. Just, just stop right there. The definition of an atheist means you, in fact, do not believe in Jesus. You may believe he existed. You may believe he was a person. You do not believe in his divinity because you do not believe in any divinity. So if you are attacking someone on the basis that they are, in fact, a divinity, you see where we're going here? Yeah, it's a bit confusing, isn't it? Yeah, you've, you've, you're doing it wrong. You're completely... Maybe How... you thought it was the Jesus from the Big Lebowski? <laughs> Nobody fucks with the Jesus. Certainly not with a butter knife. Yeah. I, yeah, because if it's Jesus, you're really gonna go at it with a butter knife? Right? I don't I don't think he's I don't think he's gonna I, I, I don't think he's gonna be like, really guys, dude, they nailed me to a fucking tree and you're coming at me with a He's just gonna make some bread for you to butter. The, the pot of is also penniless. So the judge told him he better pony up if he wants his own atheist attorney. Otherwise, he gets a pu public defender. It's just my human rights and everything else, pot of 51 said. against the advice of a public defender. I'm allowed to be with someone of my own kind. Actually, no, because you did it. You're not. You're, you're not an atheist. You're just an idiot. Well, and if you can't afford a lawyer, you kind of get the lawyer they give you. I bet the fucking hell this guy had a fedora. <clears throat> bet you anything this motherfucker had a fucking fedora and a tumbler. Fedora and a tumbler. You have a tumbler. But I don't have a fedora. Is it like, oh, so you need the combo? Like yeah. in comic books, you can either be bald or smoke cigars, but you can't be bald and smoke cigars because then you're a bad guy. Well, unless you're the thing, but then you're also... Got other issues. Made of rocks. That doesn't really count. That doesn't really count. Um. Because. Oh, like, yeah. And, okay. Charles Xavier, bald. Wolverine, smoke cigars. Mutually exclusive. But, like, Kingpin, Obadiah Stane, bald and smoke cigars. Bad guys. Okay, people are pointing out to me, I don't mean Tumblr, I mean Reddit. So, okay, that, that probably makes more sense. Oh. Huh. Yeah, Reddit, that, that would make more sense. Because, you know, I have had to deal with a lot of people who just don't frankly understand the basic concept. And that's cool, because, you know, people don't. They, don't. they don't live with it every day. They don't grow up with it. Okay. But when you claim to be a thing... What? Linkara has a tumbler and a fedora. No, he has a magic hat, not a fedora. It's different. Magic I'm hat. just saying, you're in a little bit of trouble with the chat. It's a magic hat. It's not a fedora. It's a magic hat. Magic hats are kind of beer. Well, I don't see him wearing a beer on his head. Then it's doubly awesome because it's a hat and a beer. Just, it, it's, it's one of those... If you cannot get... The, if you don't understand... It's like saying, okay, I am now a member of the NRA and I want all guns banned. 
you're kind of undermining the basic tenet of the group you decided to, you know, I'm a vegetarian, where's the steak? Yeah, you just steak is delicious. It is. That's why I can never be one. You know, it's just it's one of those things just I remember a pita! Give me some fur! You're failing the basic, the fact that he failed this basic tenet, the very fact that he's in this situation says he doesn't get it, yet still demands he wants. If I was an atheist attorney, I'd be like, nope. Do I have to? Do I really have nope. to? Nope, 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 nope. No, I, this, no, dude, seriously, no. No, dude, no. no. Why, why don't you go back? And start, why don't you go back on the internet and start telling people how all other religions make them inferior to you and leave us alone? Because that's. Uh, maybe he's an atheist for Jesus. Sure. That works. I, I mean, again, it works if you're talking about Jesus from the Big Lebowski. It does, yeah. Or like. Jesus, the son from Elton John's song, Levon. Eight-year-olds, dude. There's a deep cut. Pederast. They were nihilists, man. They kept saying they didn't believe in anything. <laughs> I mean, say what you like about the tenets of socialism. At least it's an ethos. ethos. yeah. So I guess this week we learned, if you... Yeah, yeah, Woody Allen used to say, and Woody Allen enough issues there, but he used to say, um, no, was it Woody or Groucho? He used to say, I, I, I never want to be part of any part of a... You know, I've heard it attributed to both of them. I never want to be part of any group that would have me as a member. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't want to be a member, a member of a group that would have this guy. Fortunately, I don't, because he's doing it wrong. Why? Why would you just... Webster's motherfucker. It's it does if you do not believe it's just if you do not. Uh. Some people are saying Groucho. Some people are saying Woody Allen. Yeah, it's been it's been described both. Anyway, I've heard it both. We learned this week that there are better ways to deal with your taxes than waving a gun in the air. Yeah. And Especially when you're talking about 92 cents or 22 cents. Yeah, it's it's not the the 1700s, the Boston Tea Party. That's not going to work for you now. Although, what was the caliber on that again? 22 caliber. 22 caliber machine guns, those little tiny bullets. 22 cents. Oh, oh, hey, hey, yeah. Political statement. He was actually a genius. We've learned that no matter how magnificent your construction, all it takes is one very determined rodent to bring it all tumbling down. And that will be our undoing. Rodents. We thought it was the monkeys, but no. Fucking squirrels. That guy who thinks he's going to let the monkeys out, he's nothing compared to the guy that's going to let the squirrels out. We've learned that everyone loves chicken. But uh, there's time and place. I mean, the food at proms usually is pretty bad, so that chicken corsage thing might not be the worst idea. Just it's the execution, I think, you know? But they There's... should do a chicken boutonniere, like a little popcorn. And, you know, better than a drumstick would be popcorn chicken. Didn't, you, didn't your... You can, arrange, you can arrange it pretty, popcorn chicken. Didn't your date take you out to, like, a nice restaurant before prom? That's what I did. No, because there was dinner served at the prom. Fuck that! I like I dropped like three hundred bucks on a restaurant. My date. No, we went out to a comedy club after. Fair enough. We've learned that social media and corporations really don't mix, and neither do planes and vaginas. Well, clearly they do. Also, we learned that if it's if, if it's a thing, someone on the internet has put it in a vagina. That should be another rule of the internet. Let's see, you know, like a, a sub, you know. It, We're going to have to make up our little personal constitution of. <laughs> internet rules, yeah. Yes. 
Just rules for life. No one wants to see your dick. There's nothing sexy at the Walmart. If it exists, someone's put it in a vagina. Yeah. And finally we learned... Take your illegal pets... You, you could have taken this, like, animal shelter and just dropped it on the street and gone. Yeah, leave the cage outside animal control. That would have at least made sense. Right. Like, go at 3 a.m., take the plates off your car, just drop it off and go. Don't take it to the TJ Maxx! That fun... Because the, the alligator doesn't want to be there. The, the customers don't want it there. No one wants it there. I'm pretty sure Bridget's about to unplug my computer. See? One, one animal's all it takes. All it takes. It takes the whole thing down.